This is Wizard Grandpa's Stories. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 hello. How nice to see you. <laughs> Welcome to Wizard Grandpa's Stories. <laughs> Today, I have a story for you which is called The Stars in the Sky. And it goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who loved to watch the stars in the sky. Every evening before bedtime, she would look out of the window and see the sparkling stars in the heavens. Oh, she so loved them and wanted to be near them. One day, she went outside and decided it was time to find the stars in the sky. So she walked and she walked until she came to a mill. And by the mill, there was a mill pond. And she said to the mill pond, Pond, can you tell me how I can find the stars in the sky? And the mill pond said to her, Why, yes, the stars come and play in me all the time. They sparkle here and there, and I can be covered with stars every night. Come on in, and you can find them. Well, she jumped into the mill pond, splash, and swam around and saw the sparkles of the stars in the water. But she couldn't hold them or talk to them or get close to them. So she swam a little bit and saw a brook running out of the mill pond. She swam into the brook and she said, Brook, brook, can you tell me? How can I see the stars in the sky and make friends with them? Well, said the brook as it bubbled along. The stars come down into me every night. I'm full of stars. Come, swim along with me. And she swam along the brook and it took her along the winding banks. But she didn't see any stars there. She climbed out of the brook into a field and there she saw the fairies dancing on the grass, here, there, everywhere, fairies dancing. And she said, fairies, fairies, can you tell me, how can I find the stars in the sky? And the fairies said, well, the stars come down here into our field and they sparkle at our feet as we dance. Come and join us dancing. So wet though she was, she joined the fairies dancing in the field and the grass did sparkle, but she couldn't get close to the stars. When the dance finished, she said to the fairies, Fairies, I have been swimming, I have been dancing and I still can't find the stars in the sky. Can you help me? And the fairies said, Yes, go to the edge of the forest there you will find four legs. Two legs shall climb on top of four legs. Four legs will take two legs to no legs. No legs will take two legs to the stairs, up to the sky. Oh, thank you, said the girl, not quite understanding, but she was sure the fairies would only tell her the truth. She went over to the forest and there was a great big horse with four legs. She said, hello horse, are you four legs? Yes, he said, and you are two legs. Ah, the fairies told me that if two legs would climb on four legs, then you would take me to no legs. The fairies told you that? Yes, they did. Well, I am here to serve the fairies, so I will take you. Climb on my back. So the little girl, with some difficulty, climbed onto the back of the great horse and he galloped away. She hung on for dear life and he arrived at the edge of the sea. This is as far as I can take you. Get off now, little girl. So she climbed down and stood on the banks of the sea. She looked into the water and saw there the biggest fish you have ever seen. Fish, fish, can you help me? 
The fish looked up at her. I am here to serve the will of the fairies. That is what I must do. So she said to the fish, The fairies told me that two legs must climb onto four legs, and four legs would take two legs to see no legs. So that's you. Yes. The fairies told you that? Yes. Then I will help you climb onto my back. So she climbed onto the back of the great big fish. It was very slippery, I can tell you, but she held onto one of his big fins, and the fish swam out to sea, far, far from the land. And there, in the sky, rising out of the sea, was a rainbow. The fish swam right up to where the rainbow touched the water and said to the girl, now you must get off and climb the stairs. She climbed off the fish and stood at the bottom of the rainbow. Oh, it went up so high into the sky, but there in the far heavens, she could see the stars waiting for her. Well, this is what she had wanted. So she started to climb up the rainbow. Up she went, up, up, up. At first, she didn't look down. But after a while, she did, and realised how far she was. Oh, oh, she felt a little bit giddy. But she was determined to find the stars. So she climbed further and further, and higher and higher up the rainbow, and it became more and more slippery and slippery until she slipped and fell off the rainbow. And she fell, 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 fell down and woke up on the floor of her bedroom. She'd fallen out of bed. Phew, she said, remembering the view from the rainbow. I think I will just look at the stars from my window from now on. And that is the story of the stars in the sky. I hope you liked it. It's one of my favourites. Do come again soon and bring all your friends with you. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Bye bye for now from Wizard Grandpa's Stories. Come again soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.